Hi, Bruno here. Welcome to Spain Guru. How do I get my medication if my Spanish health insurance does not deal with prescriptions? Now let's see the specific question of this Spain Guru community member. I am still in year one of my Spanish non-lucrative visa. I have private medical insurance with Salus Health Insurance. I cannot buy some of my medication over the counter. I managed to bring some from the UK, but will run out shortly. The pharmacia or has told me I need to get a prescription. I have contacted Salus, who told me I need a doctor or specialist to prescribe it, and they do not deal with prescriptions. So how do I get my medication? Now let's see the answers of Spain Guru community members. Just go to a private English speaking doctor. A visit should be between 50 and 80 euros. You might be able to hand in the bill to your insurance. Next answer. You make an appointment at a private medical clinic to see a doctor and get a private prescription to take to the pharmacia. Next answer. Just go to the closest doctor that is on the list of approved physicians and clinics. Your insurance website or app, make an appointment online or through the insurer. Take your normal medication so they can see what you take and get a prescription. Generally, it is a one month prescription, but you may be able to ask for more. Take the prescription to a pharmacia. You may be told that it is not in stock, but will get it in for you for the next day collection. The doctor will be free, but the medication will not be. Next answer. Just go on a doctor's visit and have them prescribe. The insurance doesn't deal with the cost of the prescription, but it should cover the doctor's visit. Next answer. Also, when privately paying a prescription shop around and the private pay prices are not regulated and they can substantially differ from one pharmacy to another. Next answer. As they said, go to a doctor and get a prescription. Take that to the pharmacy and pay. Your insurance company might pay for the consultation, but they won't pay for the medication. Next answer. You need to go to a private doctor or one associated with your insurers. Obviously, you will have to pay for the doctor's visit, which your insurer should reimburse you. You will need to pay for the medication. Well, that is not true really, because if you are on a non-lucrative visa, the health insurance that you are required to comply with the non-lucrative visa uh, regulations is a full coverage and no co-pays health insurance therefore when you visit a doctor it should be covered directly by your insurers without any reimbursements it should be let's say free when you visit your doctor next answer my husband and i got our canadian prescriptions renewed here in denia from a physician with our insurer which is sanitas we then took them to our local pharmacia since our renewal two years ago we just take to the box top from our medication since our we have never had to go back to get updated prescriptions. Next answer, we don't need insurance, but we can't see a doctor either. All phone consultations unless they ask you to go into surgery. This is all since COVID. Next answer, you need to register with a doctor in your area where you live so you get your medicines. Next answer, if you are with Salus Health Insurance, can you not go online and make an appointment with an appropriate specialist doctor or general medicine? We're with Salus and always visit one of the e-med hospitals. Next answer. We are with Salus and we just went down to the nearest medical center hospital we could use on the Salus website list of covered clinics. We took the medication my husband was running short of and explained we need to get a prescription. We saw a doctor, general medicine doctor, there and then were given the prescriptions. Just be aware you need a prescription for each box of medication. It is not a prescription for a month's supply as in the UK. We had to go back a week later to another prescription as we didn't realize this until the pharmacia explained. And final answer, register with a local doctor and clinic. We are covered with the S1, but I don't think that makes a huge difference. And if you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. In conclusion, according to Spain Guru's Facebook group members, the best way to get your medication in Spain if you are still in a year one of your non-lucrative visa and have a private medical insurance is to go to a private doctor or clinic on the list of approved physicians and clinics on the health insurance's website or app. 
make an appointment online or through the insurer, take your normal medication so they can see what you take and get a prescription. Generally, it's a one month prescription, but you may be able to ask for more. Take your prescription to a farmacia. You may be told that it is not in stock, but they will get it in for you for next day collection. The doctor will be free, but the medication will not be. Join Spain Guru's community today. You can join our general Spanish immigration group and our dedicated groups for Spanish non-lucrative visa and Spanish digital nomad visa. Our groups together have more than 30,000 members. If you need expert professional advice, we got you covered. Just head to spainguru.es and check out our top menu. You'll find immigration experts, relocation agencies, tax advisors for Spanish and US filings, SORN translators, apostille services, consulate appointment services, and health insurance providers for all types of Spanish visa applications. That includes non-lucrative visa, golden visas, student visas, and digital nomad visas, as well as medical certificates for visa applications and travel health insurance. Finally, I highly recommend you join our weekly newsletter, which we send out every single Monday morning. You'll get tons of information, questions and answers, feature blog posts, and news updates. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.